Playing hit after hit. Hit after hit after hit. You've got your radio cranked up to the best station. Radio. Yeah, this your boy DJ Trap Jesus, WPIR 98.4 FM. We in the building right now with Chaston Stone. What's good, mama? Yeah, what's up, man? How you feeling today? I'm feeling fine. I'm feeling fine. I'm feeling great. How are you? <laughs> the devil is a lie. <laughs> ah, yes, that's a tight song, man. That song is satanic like a motherfucker. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Yo, man, we sitting here chilling, doing what we do best, you know. Ah, oh, man, I can hear so. You a bit. It's kind of breaking up. Hold on. There you go. I hear you. Oh, you can hear me now. Yeah. Oh, let me let me stop that. Let me. I could do that later. All right. So we here live. WPR with Chaston Stone. You know what I'm saying? Let the, let the people know where you repping from. You know what I mean? I represent from the ATL, Simpson Road, Atlanta, Georgia, Zone 1. You know what I'm saying? It's oh, she broke it, it down. <laughs> Got to break it yeah. down, let the people know, because they know Atlanta, you know. But what's in Atlanta? You know, what's what's popping down in Atlanta? Got the Falcons. You got the, got the Hawks. Georgia Dome. Got Chastain Stone. Mm. And many other tight indie artists. I'll tell you this little you quick story. Uh, when I was <laughs> in Atlanta. You said you um, was in Atlanta? Yeah, the time when I was in Atlanta, we actually just beat the Braves in the World Series. <laughs> um, the New York Yankees. What the was that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, they was not liking me down there. <laughs> They're like, what about the Braves? <laughs> I wasn't, you know, I'm not really... You know, I don't follow the sports like that, but me wearing a yeah, you know a Yankee yeah, hat in a Atlanta club that night was just not a good look. You know, everybody was sitting there giving me these funny looks like, so you want to rub it in now? You want to rub it in? <laughs> <laughs> Let me have a good game. I guess, yeah. Since, since, since so, lost, it was good to you. <laughs> how would you say? That's, I guess that was a good game for you since the Braves lost with that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You know, it felt good. <laughs> it is, it is. All right, so what made you get into music, you know? Oh, man. Um, from just, a, you know, just listening to my dad playing music and just hearing other artists, I was like, I wonder, can I do that one day? So, you know, just, just went in there and just started writing stuff. Of course, it's all kind of jumbled up and like, what the heck is this? But, you know, when you're younger, it's like, oh, man, I'm done. Bomb. <laughs> then I heard Brett coming out and, Queen Latifah had some stuff out, man. I was like, whoa, I want to do that. So that's why I just did that. And then I wrote my first rhyme when I was like 12 years old. You think you remember it? Do you still remember it? Yeah, (laughs) Yeah, fortunately I do. (laughs) See, some people can't remember their first rhyme, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, it's good that you can actually remember it. Yeah, a couple of bars. It was funny. You want to say it on the air? And then you want to see it in the air? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, you trying to mock me? Like, oh, wa- <laughs> it's like uh, I was walking down the street with my fat auntie. She was walking so slow, she was crawling on her knees. I told her, "Get up, stop, wait for me." You know you're too fat to walk like that. Isn't that horrible, man? Wow, that was just very <laughs> I mean, sad. Then, but I wasn't even writing it to anybody, anybody in particular. It was just something that just just came out, and I was like, I called up my neighbors and my friends. I was like, "Listen to this little ball." <laughs> I'm like, and, and they was like, keep it up, you'll be, you'll, you'll be sorry one day. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Disrespect <laughs> the fat chick. You know <laughs> <laughs> oh man, so like, I and mean, that was like one of the things I was gonna ask you too. Like, did you come from like a musical background? Was like your parents in the music, not as listeners well, of the well, music, but you know. Of that sort. Oh, uh, my dad. You know, like my dad said, he used to sing back there, back in the day. You know, in the group on the corner, the, the you know, do do all that. My dad. Oh, the harmony, the harmony like groups. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> back in the coolie high said, days. Like, yeah, it was funny. Be sitting there by on the fire. I know, right? Come on, boom, boom, boom. <laughs> <laughs> Got some big tall nigga in the back doing the bass. Doom, doom. 
I know, right? <laughs> so, yeah, it's just running the family, I guess. Ah, oh, man. So, like, all right, you know, like, who were the main, the main artists that you grew up listening to that, that just was like, okay, this is, this is where I want to go with my future as far as music is concerned? Um, see, I heard... See, Wu Tang. Oh, it was all. Oh, it was various, actually. It was like this various. So you Wu-Tang more of a nineties. You more you like, like the nineties you know, style of hip hop. Uh, it was nineties, two thousand. It was it's, it's different artists. Busta Rhyme. Um, then you had uh, Dre Snoop, and then after yeah, Snoop, you had the you had the well, of course, like N- NWA. I was like, oh my god. If they can say all that, imagine what the heck I can say. And then, you know, as you get older, you got to change it up a little bit. But <laughs> just the different cuts. I like Nas, Jay-Z. So what, I, all right, I, I know you said something just now. This is like when you got older, you felt that you have to change certain content. Now, why is in hip-hop is supposed to be like, you know, something from the heart, is something you feel and whatever the situation like that. Why do you feel like as you get old, you have to change your content? But not change the content, just kind of change the way you come at it, you know, because you want people to listen to you. So you, And some people just don't want, people these days don't want to just think, you know, more. They just want to just, you know, dance. So if you want to get your message out, it's a, it's a certain way you got to just put it out there so they'll be able to get it without trying to say, oh, I don't want to listen to that. He's <laughs> like, fuck that, nigga. I don't want to learn nothing, nigga. Shit, nigga. I want to <laughs> dance. <laughs> you, know? you can't so motherfucking it's, it's make me dance. Counting, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> making me think. I want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> so, like you, like your your favorite genre, like the t- the type of genre that you bring with your um with your music is more of the trap trap house sound or something. No, actually, I make I like to make different various songs. I like to make the trap songs that you kind of you can ride through, with, you know, with your homeboys in the hood. I like to make the club songs. I like to make the nice feel good songs you can play at a barbecue with your family. Um, you know, just different songs like that. I and like I'm to make say- the grinding songs. Get that money. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> like know? now, the the like my status track, right? Now, when I first heard it, I was like, uh oh, we got another one of these ratchet joints. I'm gonna be real with you. <laughs> We got another one of these ratchet joints. Now, how are we going to manage to maneuver this song? But like like I said, it, it happened so crazy with mm-hmm. our top hit list, you know, with the people voting and stuff like that. So when I first put the song on the air, before you know it, within the first three days, the song was actually in the top hits. And I was like, whoa. I was like, oh, <laughs> that yeah. Was bananas. Yay. <laughs> so you actually you're one of the first artists that I can honestly say like since we started utilizing the top hit widget that we submitted the the music in there and you actually made the top ten list and I was like yeah that's a first you know <laughs> awesome <laughs> so you could thank your team and all that for putting out that track yes you know? thank you to the team Triumph Entertainment Jazzy Styles Entertainment Evolution Entertainment. Everybody who got chest day stone back been putting their footwork. So are you signed to a professional label or indie? It's an indie label, Triumph Entertainment. Okay, how long they been in business? Uh for years. Like uh, f- uh four years, five years? Yes. You know, 'cause I'm about to do some research, you know, see what other type of, you know, music that comes out of that camp, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> We yeah. don't want to do this. We don't want to do no more ratchet stuff now. <laughs> <laughs> no more world star hip hop music, y'all. <laughs> now nah, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. You know, you got to do it how you feel. You know, so that's the way you feel. Yeah, you you know. felt energetic to do that. Like my status, click my name. Nigga. You know what I'm saying? That's what you do. You know what I mean? We fucks with it. And as you see here at the station, we play the song. We got it in rotation. It's getting like I say. In the course of a day, it's probably getting like 10 spins easy, you know, minus, you know, regardless of all the other songs and stuff like that that we play. So That's we showing you a lot of love, you know, as an unsigned artist, you know, you you getting that recognition you deserve. That's, that's, that's love right there. I appreciate that support, like, very much. All right, so now here's the thing. What You got the video out. Uh-huh. You know, so <clears throat> what's going to be the next single? What is going to be the next single? It's called DUI Designated Driver. We're in the midst of working on a storyboard for that video right now. It's going to and be awesome. Is the single out yet? Um, 
Yeah, uh, no, it's not out yet. It's about to, it's about to drop. Because you know we it's always nothing. crack them exclusives. So you, you, you already know, know you're going to get it first, man, yeah, to put yeah. it on the map. You already you know, know you're going to get it first I was beating around the bush the to that point. You know? <laughs> 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 we got to crack it first. A lot of radio stations yeah, say they no. do it first. But they only do it first because they don't listen to other radio stations. So they're not sure if they're doing it first or not. So we keep yeah. a tab on everything down here. You know? That's what's up. That's what's up. Ah, uh, man. So have you performed any shows, any stage shows? Yes, I've done a couple. Have fun at, at that. Have fun. I enjoy myself. So, Making like, how do you feel that the crowd took to your music and stuff like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, you know, then you had the you had the googly eyed guys in the front, like, ooh, catch <laughs> You know, those are going to be them same yeah. cats that's going to be buying up the iTunes. It. I was loving it. Like, yeah, I remember when she was on stage, son. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, she was shaking it. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Because basically, like, we want to we wanna know, like, you know, like, when a, when an artist do certain shows, you know, we would like to sponsor, you know, not even sponsor, but like, you know, promote these shows for y'all and stuff like that on the air. So anytime you get a show cracking, you know what I'm saying, okay. let us know and we'll throw okay. out the commercial, whatever, so people could come now. Because like I said, we are listening to all over the world. So in all reality, somebody from your state is listening. <laughs> and you know it. <laughs> you know, so that's how we doing it. We know that with the proper promotion, everything will get done correctly. So we would definitely back you on this one. Thank you. Know. you. That's so how are we looking towards the album, though? Oh, the album is nice. Nice 14 cuts. Got a different kind of variety of songs. You'll love it. Love it. It's called I'm My Biggest Fan. Okay. Get it, get it. Because I did see, I seen something about that, and I wasn't sure if that was your album in particular, you know, but then as I started playing the, you know, your song, it started, that information started coming in through the databases and stuff, and I was like, okay, this might be the album that she might be putting on, this track is on, you know, so when you do, if you can, could you get us a copy of the album? And, sure can. You know, because I'm not sure what these other websites information are really throwing the truth out there or not. But, you know, as far as like if that's going to be your album, you know, they got your album. You know what I mean? Because people be false advertising like a motherfucker. You already know. You already know. <laughs> you know. <laughs> so like. In flexing. The, oh, did you just. Who you? Hello. What'd you say? I said it be flexing. Now, I'm just saying, I'm just, you know, I'm just letting them know, people, yo, people be funny style nowadays. <laughs> yeah, they know. All right, Boy. so if there was a, a, a any particular artist you would want to do a song with, who would you choose? Um, T.I., I like his style. He came a long way. Yeah, T.I., that's my dude right there. So like you got, you're like a huge like fan of T.I.? Not I because he's from your you. state, you know what I'm saying, but musically. That's a question again. I didn't hear you. Broke up. What'd you say? No, I said okay. like, um, so you a big fan of T.I.? Yeah, I've always been since he had bought out his serious album. And I, I, well, I was like, T.I. came a long way. And then I heard that, that, that when he did that stay, uh, go get it. Oh my gosh. I just had to grab that and, and, and do my own little version for my mixtape. Okay. Uh, okay. Credibility. Volume one. Right, right, right. True, true. Any particular labels, like you know, major labels that y'all looking to back it, you know, to back y'all project for um for your label. Uh, and now we doing the indie, but yes, if they want to get, if they want to talk, you know, the right business, you know. That's right. So yeah, all you people go. down at Def Jam South and you know all these other labels down there, y'all need to start doing the correct. <laughs> Business. <laughs> <laughs> I was just gonna let you finish the line, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Mm. All right, all right, all right, all right. Now check it out, check it out. Um, any like as far as like any major concerts, like you know, like how we have um, you know, summer jams. We have the powerhouses and the coat chillers and all this other stuff. Any, would you like to perform on any one of those? Like, what would be the main stage you would like to touch? 
would it be somewhere in like one of Kali Christmas um concert or you know, Coachella is actually a big concert. You know what I'm saying? And then, and then they basically, you know, deal with the artists, like the unsigned artists, you know, the up and coming artists. If they welcome me, it is all good. <laughs> because I would love to see, like, some of the people who we interview, I would like to see them doing other things, you know, like being on bigger stages, you know, be like, yeah, I remember yeah. Shorty, like, yo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, because then that, that shows that people are really taking in to what people really is trying to do instead of just brushing them mm-hmm. off like uh, everybody's just a yeah. run-of-the-mill run type of mm-hmm. rapper or this, that, and a third, you know? Mm-hmm. So, like, what are y'all, like, what are your favorite genres of hip-hop? Like, do you like dance, house, like, R&B, you know? What are your favorites? I like what, I like what, turn, if I turn the radio or put a CD in, what, what, what makes me groove? Because it could be your old song, it could be something right now, new or future song I could jam to. I like it all. If it sounds good to me, that's my opinion, you know. If it sounds good to me, I'm going to play it. Either it's just country, rap, hip-hop, or how you want to say it, hip-hop, or a pop. I, I like it, I like it. Because I know, now you said country music, now that's crazy because it's <laughs> not so crazy because where we at now and from where I'm from, where I'm from, we don't listen to country music. <laughs> so, uh-huh. Where I'm at now, I see black people and they be singing these country songs like they, <laughs> Cause they be uh, they be genuine, but you can feel you, you can feel those songs. So most of the stuff they be saying in the concerts, you be like, wow. You know, I it's mean, just yeah, like the R&B what you can feel them too, is just the way they put it's different. It's depressing, man. <laughs> <laughs> Not all of them. Not all of them. You got some that's, that, that's, that's, that you can just dance to. Because I know I, I went to the... Like... I'm going to tell you this other story. Repeat it out. I went to this this all-white bar. You know, normally black people don't hang out in there. But being that I'm from the city, you know, our arrogant ass, we're going to go up in there any other way. <laughs> and for some reason, I don't know what country song was on, but it was an up-tempo country song. And them white people were going off in they there. They were going <laughs> 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 I was and like, you know you wow. want to dance too. Mm-hmm. They was they. Yeah. I mean, the boots was caught. He started patting their foot. They was <laughs> patting their legs and everything. I was like, whoa! They are tearing it down <laughs> up in here. But then you know you see now you see the black people that's rocking like that too. You know with yeah. the country music. So I guess country music gonna be the new hip hop. <laughs> hey, it can. <laughs> I think I would actually give up the business if that shit is true. If country music comes in, hip hop, I'm giving up the business. I'm I'm gonna be a professional mime. <laughs> Some shit. Oh my god! <laughs> well, <laughs> you know, so like any other um, artists that you have on the album? Um, I'm working with an artist named Tiger C. He's nice. Ooh, nice. Um, a girl named Monique, a female artist, she's nice. Uh, another artist, and his name is P.O.T. Power Over Tomorrow, he's nice. Yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's not that many, but yes, yeah. It's, all right, it's all right. fire on there, man. So and fire. all these people are on your album? Yes. All right. Tony, yeah, yeah, yeah. And is there a release date for this album? <laughs> we'll release it when you say you release it. No. <laughs> When Trap says release it, we're gonna release it. Now, it's, it's Dallas, up don't, don't even well, don't even say that it, shit. Because I, <laughs> I say it <laughs> after the interview, <laughs> I get up on the mic with y'all. The album is out. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> they start calling like, play it, play it. <laughs> Just for the hell of it, <laughs> yo, the album out. <laughs> <laughs> like that's what she told yeah, me. That's what she it. said. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I keep yeah. informed on it though. It's it's gonna be out soon. Like scary. Um, like as far as like not to get back on the artists, like do would you um do any like work with artists from the East Coast, like any artists from New York City and stuff like that? You said would I? Yes. Yes. Who is your favorite New York City rapper or slash singer, or whatever? I love Lauren Hill. You love Lauren Hill, I'm, okay. I'm I'm a big Lauren fan. I'm um a lot of cats out there. I'm like, uh, shoot. <laughs> no, I ain't named Nada, I ain't named Jay. I like, uh, 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 what's that, what's that dude name? 
Uh, oh my God, what's his name? Is my skin cat? Now I know that artist is sitting there probably like, no, she don't, you better remember my <laughs> name. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just heard his song. He did it. It was like on the radio. I was like, that is so hot. Um, uh, 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 J, 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 J. J. Cole. That's what it is. J. Cole. I was like, what is this name? Is this name? Oh, Mr. Yeah. Crooked like, Smile. Uh, what'd you say? Mr. Crooked Smile. He's a... <laughs> <laughs> wow. I like the roots. Uh, the roots is a artist. cool group, though. Them some real yeah. smooth cats. They like a gang nice of pimps. Yeah. <laughs> they have some nice albums. They like a gang of pimps from Philly. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I like it. Though. You know, any particular artists from the West Coast? That I would like to work with, yeah. or just like, or just listen to. No, that um, you wouldn't want to work with. Oh, that I would like to work with. I would like to work with Cube. I like Tech Nine. I like uh, uh um, what's what's the cat name? What's the cat that I heard that uh, that you had an interview with Day Lyric? Ah, <laughs> uh, let me find out. <laughs> <laughs> now I want to do a verse. You know, one of his songs or something like that. Yeah, I know he got bad connects, you know, in, in, on the West. Yeah, yeah. I'm waiting for that. that um, they actually supposed to be shooting a video for that Take Your Time track, too. So, um, That's going to be crazy. He's going to do, like, a live stream um, thing for it so people can actually watch it over the Internet as they're shooting the video. So that should oh, be a good look. Cool. And, you know, we'll let everybody know. When it's popping, so. Okay, okay. That's cool. Because if you don't let me know, I'm flying out to the West. Word up, son. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do you say? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So, like, what else? Oh, man. I don't know, because there's a lot of questions I can ask you, but some could be, some of, you know, I feel that are not relevant. <laughs> Okay, yes, what's up? You know, but Perfect. basically is we we trying to get more of info about your music and you know when release dates is going to do you got any shows coming up in the future? Things like yes. that. Yes. So, uh, uh um like in March, uh, March a big big block party. It's going to be a big block party. They're going to block it's party in crazy, March. Man. Uh, um you can find my uh some of the, my like my status single on iTunes. Uh, lots of stores, uh, <laughs> e-music, Rapsy. Uh, Hold on, let's Google get back Play. to this block party in March. Uh, <laughs> yeah, um, Triumph is going to and Daddy Styles Entertainment. So they're going to throw a big block concert party. Um, she, um, she says going to have like a bunch of indie artists. So I, I can't wait to that. I wanna, I, I, that's going to be interesting, man. Just the vibe. Yeah, it's definitely going to be interesting that they're throwing a block party in March. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I hey, you could shut it down any time. <laughs> you know, I forgot you know, Atlanta. Spring or spring time. You know what I'm saying? It's spring. Yeah, no, it's, I'm saying I know Atlanta it gets hot early. I got to I gotta remember. Yeah. It's been yeah, a long time since yeah. I've been down Atlanta there. Atlanta got some crazy weather, man. Yeah. 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 And definitely, Atlanta, I'm going to tell everybody that's listening, Atlanta is the fun, is the, uh, tell me, it's the funnest place you will possibly want to go to that's surrounded by the hood. I'm telling you, <laughs> I'm dead ass. <laughs> I'm dead ass. I'm telling you, my visit down there was, I was it was a crazy experience. I'm, I'm going to tell you, on some real shit. I met some New Yorkers out there that, you know, that bugged me out, but it was the people from Atlanta that I actually took a liking to because I was like, yo, everybody's okay. just chilling, partying. I ain't seen no ratchet shit the whole time I was at this. <laughs> he was just waiting to see that. <laughs> yeah, honestly, because I watch world star hip hop videos. I want to see some ratchet shit when I visit people's towns. <laughs> I'm sure it's certain hood you can go to and catch it the right timing. You know? <laughs> With your camcorder. Now, all right, now. Being that you still haven't gave me a, a, a answer, I'm gonna jump back on this question again. Do we have a release date for the album? Uh, uh no, I told you I, I will update you on that because I want oh, okay. to. I didn't hear that part. I want to okay, make I confirm bad. the release date that that's already up. That is confirmed that day before I tell you. I don't want to tell you a bad day and then you be mad at me. You know, because we'll be we'll then be you'll call me and get mad. Nah, because as soon as as soon as we know, we're gonna let the world know. You know? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. <laughs> we got you 
We got you, player. That's what you it know? is. So what do your parents think about you doing hip-hop music? You know, most parents don't like the hip-hop thing, you know. <laughs> My so mom is passed, like? so bless her heart. But she was my mom liked the music, but she's passed. But my dad loves it. He sees he he's encouraged it all. Both of them encourage me all the way. Okay, okay, that's cool. So do you like have anything you wanna say to like the young girls that wanna wanna do the music that you do or do hip hop music in a whole? Yes. Um, you know, keep doing what you do. Don't let nobody tell you you can't do it. Just keep pushing and get into the game. Without having to show all your assets just to get assets. That's right. You don't have to get butt naked <laughs> to be seen, ladies. <laughs> you know. You don't have to be out there with the bucket naked. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh, oh tr- <laughs> trombo, trombo. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Yo, all right now. I've never done this with anybody who I interview with. So let me get a. Can I get a hot sixteen from you? Like the 2014 Chaston Stone exclusive freestyle, son. World up, son. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is up. Let's see. Well, it's Chest Ain't Stone, and I'm getting it on with my boy Trap Jesus 98.4. And I know you want it more because I'm something tender. You want me for dinner. I only mess with winners, all sinners, all beginners. Let my music enter your mind. I'm blazing. I'm so amazing. One of a kind. You spaced out two days in. Your thought process, smaller than a raisin. You can't think, can't help your style stink. I get rowdy, piper, the lyrical sniper. You cry baby pissy in your diaper. Clean it with your wipers. Acting like a bum. You got no swag? Stop sweating me, go get you some. Love the way I'm looking. Sizzling how I'm cooking. You gotta have smarts, so I'm booking. Leaving others sucking, no st- mistake it. Fake it. I'm taking your place in. <laughs> <laughs> now you can see she just freestyling, y'all. You know what I'm saying? So she can, she can go. You know what I mean? She got the freestyle. You know what I'm saying? She got it locked, son. <laughs> Word, but man, we had some fun here. You know, we got we got to know Chaston Stone a little more. You know, because I just like popped up on her. You know, she ain't even know. Yeah, it was a surprise. It was a great surprise. But- yeah, I, you know, that's how I do. I, I don't let you know what I'm going to do. I just pop up on you. <laughs> <laughs> that's what's up, man. Any shout-outs you want to give to your peoples and shit? Yeah, give a shout-out to all the click who roll yeah, with make me. Make sure you get them music. all out. So Tanya, they say, oh, you Entertainment, Daddy Styles Entertainment, Evolution Entertainment. Give a shout-out to Chastain fans and her friends. All around the world, baby. Right, right, right. So it's your boy DJ Trap Jesus, Chaston Stone, ATL is in the building. You know how we do, Brooklyn. We in the house. Holla at your boy. Thank you for calling up, Chaston, babe. And you know, whenever you ready to let us get them joints, the door's always open for you. You know what I mean? You already know, man. Holla at your boy, all right? I appreciate it, man. Holla. No problem. <laughs> All right. It's your boy DJ Trap Jizzle, WPR on 98.4 FM. Ah, this is a hot another one. Just jumped in on with Chasta Stone real quick, you know. TGI Friday. Catch me in a little bit. 8 o'clock. I'll be live on the air on the ones and twos. Show sponsored by Remy Martin. You know, so we're going to get it popping right here at WPR 98.4 FM. Yerd.